Hi everyone, happy Saturday to one and all. Yesterday I did a uh, a surprise VCLT video. Also I did an unopening of a special record, the Midnight Callers Rattled Humming Heart. And hopefully you tuned into that video yesterday. But today I have the same shirt on. No, I didn't wear it two days in a row. I took it off and then put it back on today just now. Um, and this gentleman, I asked people if they knew who this was, and the only one I think said anything was Doc Docus. Make sure you tune into the Doc Docus channel and subscribe, please. Um, he said that he thought this was Paul Newman, but no, it's not Paul Newman. It is Billy Idol. It's hard to see that, but it's Billy Idol. I saw him live in 2019. And growing up, uh, you know, when I was into music, and I still am, obviously, but uh, in the 80s, uh, he was a big part of my listening. I really uh, was a, became a fan of Billy Idol, and then before Billy Idol went solo, he was with another band called uh, Generation X, and I'm going to go through some of the records I have from Billy, and then I'm going to get to two newer releases at the end. And like I said, I've always been a fan of Billy... And, uh, you know, his music is, I guess, punkish, like punk rock. And, uh, you know, new way, touch a new wave along with some rock and roll. So, anyway, his first band that he was with was called Generation X. And here's Billy right here with his other bandmates. And I think they had a couple uh, records. I only have this record by them and also the best of uh, Generation X. But here's the song titles on their LP that they had as a band. You can pause that and check it out. And then Billy went solo years after, a couple years after that. And I believe this is his first album. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. But this was Whiplash Smile. And in the 80s, uh, Billy had a lot of hits. And uh, I didn't mention it before, but he's been on Chrysalis for quite a while, from Generation X throughout his solo career. Most of it, anyway, till the end. Um, right here, there was a few hits on this. To Be a Lover, uh, Sweet Sixteen, which was a remake. Uh, Don't Need a Gun got air, airplay on this record. And here's the back of it. Here's the titles of the songs. And let me show one of the uh, Chrysalis labels that he's been on. Oh, this one is a custom label. But if you look at the very bottom, you'll see Chrysalis at the bottom there. All right. His next album, I'm not sure these are in exact order, but this is the next one that I pulled from my shelf. It's called Don't Stop, Billy Idol. And this was an EP. It had Moni Moni on it. Everybody knows his rendition that was originally done by Tommy James and the Shondells. And this also had the long version of Dancing With Myself, which was another big 80s hit, club hit. And here's the back of it. And this is a full-length uh, album. This one's called uh, Billy Idol, Rebel Yell. And the Rebel Yell was a big hit single for him. Uh, also, Flesh for Fantasy that's on this record. And Eyes Without a Face was a big hit. Uh, Crank Call, I think, got some little bit of airplay, but this was one of his big hits. This is in the shrink, as you can see. And let me see if this one has a plain chrysalis label. Nope, this one doesn't either. <laughs> but here's chrysalis again. And then here's another album. This one's just called Billy Idol. This one had White Wedding on it. Hot in the City, big hit. And Dancing With Myself. This is the full album. Here's the song titles if you feel like pausing it. Take this one out real quick. And here's another custom label. Chrysalis Records. What's inside this one? Something's interesting in here. Oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. 
here is an old invoice from Columbia House Records, and that's how I got. I think I got this. This was free from Columbia House Records. Check that out. Anybody remember the Columbia House Record Club? This is an original receipt from them. This happened to be a free one. Pretty cool. And here's the statement from 1985. Read that. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Total due on this record was zero dollars. <laughs> yep, that's one of my purchases from the 80s from the Columbia House Record Club. All right, now these last three I'm going to show are uh, colored vinyl, believe it or not. Yes, that's right, colored vinyl. This is the, the dance mix version of uh, White Wedding. Always loved that song. This got a lot of uh, playtime and weddings and the dance clubs and whatnot. And this one is on. Let's see if we can guess what color this is on. White. White Wedding, white vinyl. Special edition. Yeah, I really love Billy Idol. Love his music. Great music. Now, these next two that I'm going to show are newer releases. One is from 2020 and one's from 2022. Now, I'm not sure who copied off of who, but we all know, know and love Ringo Starr. And Ringo Starr, the last few years, has had three EPs. Now, Billy Idol released two EPs. One in 2021 and one in 2022. This one's called Billy Idol, The Roadside EP, Limited Edition Blue Vinyl. Now this is what he looks like currently. You can see how Billy's aged a little bit. We all get older. <laughs> but he's still doing his thing in 2021, 2022, and beyond. And here, the interesting part of this is the label. He's no longer on Chrysalis Records. He's on George Harrison's label. That's right. Billy Idol is now on George Harrison's label that he started way back when. Dark Horse Records. Now who would have thought Billy Idol would have become very popular in new releases on Dark Horse Records? That's one of the selling points, believe it or not, for me to get this EP. Number one, it was on colored vinyl. Number two, it's on Dark Horse Records. That is really cool. Who would have thought Billy Idol would end up on George Harrison's label? Not me. <laughs> Never would have guessed that in a million years. If somebody said, what's the new label that Billy Idol's on? I never would have guessed Dark Horse. And this one I just recently got in the mail, and I didn't open it yet. So I'm going to save this one for right now. And the title of this one is The Cage. Here he is standing up. And this one has tracks on it. The title, Cage, Running from the Ghost, Rebel Like You, and Miss Nobody. And this came out last year, 2022. There was a Dark Horse record symbol, label. And now I'll open this up and see what the vinyl looks like. Shouldn't take too long. Bear with me, it's coming. <laughs> it's being a little, little stubborn. Get a cup of coffee. <laughs> Here it is. This one is on a, a lightish red color. And again, here is the Billy Idol, the Cage EP. There it is. There's side B. And here's side A. So I already played the other one, and it kind of sounds just like uh, the same uh, music that he's put out from the 80s and the 90s. 
he uh his voice still pretty much sound the same maybe a little uh throatier deeper but you know it's billy idol when you're playing him on the turntable so this one i'll give a spin like i did the other ep that i just showed there you have it that's most of what billy idol has put out i may have a few singles by him but that's pretty much all the LPs. I think he had another label, uh, another album, uh, Cradle of Love in 19, I want to say 1991 or 92. That was really big. Anyway, this is my Billy Idol video. And yes, this is Billy Idol, Doc Docus, not Paul Newman. <laughs> but he does look a little like Paul Newman. So that was a pretty good guess. Everyone. Take care. Be well. Bye-bye.